Hey kids, welcome back to second part of the opposites video. Let's learn more opposites. Tall, short. First, we're creating a short tower of five red colored number blocks. Now with the orange colored blocks, I'm making a tall tower to show the difference between short and tall. Can you guess how many orange blocks I'll use to make the tall tower? You're right, I've used nine blocks for tall tower. Moving to the second opposites, I'm going to make arrows to point in the upward and downward direction. Using the blue colored number blocks to make the pointed arrows front side of upward sign, and the white colored blocks are used at the back of the symbol. Up means going higher, like jumping or climbing a ladder. Down means moving lower, like sliding, or coming back to the ground. Up goes the balloon, and down it comes. Now, I'll make the downward pointed arrow using the purple colored blocks for the pointed arrow's front side of downward sign, and the white colored blocks are used to make the handle of the symbol. I guess it's a bar, or a handle, satisfying, plain, colorful. The third opposite we will learn are plain and colorful. We'll be making a row of plain number blocks with white and gray colors, and a row of colorful number blocks with special rainbow colors. Singles and doubles. The fourth opposite we will learn are singles and doubles. To give you a better understanding of this concept, single is one or base value, and double is the multiple of that value. So two is a double of one and four is a double of two. We're making single line with purple colored number blocks and double line using white and green colored number blocks. Did you know that a penny that doubles in value each day for 30 days would be worth over $5.3 million by the end of the month. Isn't that super crazy? I think it's unrealistic to achieve such a thing too. Singles are numbers made of just one block, like one, three, and five. Doubles are numbers made of two equal parts, like two, four, and six. They're great at pairing up and balancing things. Far near. The fifth opposite we will learn are far and near. I'm making a cube from purple colored number blocks. After that, I'll show you the concept of being far and near. I'll move the cube close to the camera to show that it's near and take it away to show it's far. Few, many. The last opposite we will learn are few and many at the left side. I'm kept a small quantity of number block, and the right side shows a bigger quantity showing many blocks. Hope you enjoyed this series and learned the concept of opposites in two parts. Do watch more fun videos on our channel, like this video, and subscribe to our channel. The end.